on guys this is Justin in front of the J Media back with another video so today we'll be tuning this car here my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT that is turbo so if you guys have been watching my videos for a while I did a tuning DIY video about a year back when I first got it tuned when it was NA but now that I'm turbo I do need it tuned again so turbo is right down there so yeah let's get into tuning it first things first there are a couple things you need you need this tech tricks 2.0 cable uh, you can buy this for uh, right around 200 dollars and you also do need some of the programs you need two programs you need evo scan uh, which costs about 25 dollars as well as the ecu flash software so there are a lot of different tuners out there but i'm getting tuned with rick with rally inspired so uh, if you guys watched my video a year back, I was tuned when I was NA by Rick as well. Um, like I said, a bunch of different tuners out there. Um, but, you know, Rick has been doing a lot of research. He has been one of the pioneers of tuning any as well as Turbo Mitsubishi Lancers for over 10 years. So that's why, you know, I decided to go with him in the end. Uh, Rick reached out to me. He actually watched some of my older videos when I was tuned by him when I was NA about a year back and yeah he gave me the opportunity to work together again so a big thank you rick um what i'll be doing like i said is in a separate video i'll be doing separate stuff so this video is just going to be on loading the base map so same process whether it's loading a base map on an na lancer or turbo lancer um, and then in separate videos i'll be doing data logging and you know going through some of the tuning stuff so make sure to stay tuned if you guys want to see that uh, if you guys want to check out some of my turbo mitsubishi lancer build progress i put everything in a separate playlist called mitsubishi lancer turbo build so make sure to check out those videos as well all right so first things first you have to talk to your tuner and get two tuning files so like i said i'm working with rick with really inspired and i got my tuning files here so over here this is a xml file and over here i have uh srf file so basically these are two files what i have to do first is move let me see here i'm reading instructions put the xml file into the ecu flash roaming data folder so this xml file right here i'm gonna go ahead and copy it and i already opened up the other folder here this is the roaming data folder and to find out where that is it depends on your computer so right here it depends on uh, what kind of computer whether it's a 32-bit or 64-bit computer you do need a windows computer mine is a 64-bit here so i just type that in and i managed to pull up this romi data folder which is right here and what i have to do is just paste it so as you can see i already have the xml file right here in this Romy data folder so right now what i have to do next is go ahead and open my ecu flash software so let me go back like i said you do need ecu flash as well as evo scan software to get tuning done so i'm gonna go ahead and open ecu flash i think i already have it saved on my desktop somewhere uh this evo scan ecu flash let me go ahead and open that up all right so my ecu flash software right here on my laptop so just go ahead and click on that like i said always good idea to download your ecu flash and evo scan software ahead of time um, one thing to note is you want to make sure that your car battery as well as your laptop battery are all fully charged because you definitely don't want anything happening like your computer or your car switching off halfway while you're loading your base map so right now i have my ecu flash software open uh, let me see. I'm just reading through my instructions from my tuner rig here. Um, next, now that I already moved over my XML file to the Romy data folder, the actual tune file is my SRF file. Let me see. So, I'll go ahead and open that. So, click on file. Open. And definitely recommend putting it somewhere really easy to find. So I put all my stuff under this document folder I titled Tuning. Uh, my Turbo Lancer Tune. And just double check, make sure this is the SRF file. Yep, this is the SRF file. 
so you can go ahead and click open so we loaded the SRF file right now so what I have to do next is I do have to load it from my laptop onto my car and this is where this Tectrix cable comes in handy so let me go ahead and hook this up real quick let me just show you guys what you have in this Tectrix cable, uh, box so first thing you have this little guy right here which plugs into your car and then we also have the wire itself so USB plugs into USB port in your laptop and the other end plugs into this little Tectrix cable device and once you plug it in you should see it circling through different colors I can just go ahead and plug in my USB port right here to the laptop okay so right now my car is hooked up to the laptop so now that that's done I already have my base map loaded here I'm just gonna click on this red right here so it will say write currently loaded ROM onto ECU flash memory so now that I have my Tectrix cable all hooked up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my ignition on so not turn the car on but just two clicks turn the ignition on before writing over the files so we're gonna do one click two clicks so just two clicks ignition is on and then I'm gonna be clicking on this red one right here just to write over the file so it's gonna say if your ignition is ready on a previous operation press ok turn your ignition to on then press ok to continue and while it cycles through all that you can see right here it's loading on the screen right here might go crazy might have the service engine soon might say overheating but that's okay just let it run um, like I said right now we'll just continue letting it load and if for any reason if anything happens don't switch it off because it's gonna break your ECU just try it one more time so 84% almost done I'm always really nervous whenever I load tunes 92% 93 94 almost there and uh, whenever it's loading you might hear like your fans kick on and stuff like that so that's okay like I said just let it load let's let it do its thing all right so it just says operation completed successfully if you are done turn off the ignition so it means you're all good to go everything loaded successfully I'm just gonna turn it back off so yeah as simple as that loading the base map everything's good to go um, like I said whenever you load a tune you might have your check engine light come on which is okay uh, with Evo scan you can erase that so no worries at all um, but again if you guys stick to the end don't forget to leave a thumbs up we're gonna be have a few more tuning related videos coming up on the channel as well uh, so this is loading the base map we'll be having a separate video doing the data logging um, and then I'm sure since this is a trouble tune we'll be doing probably a few different revisions uh, of the tune with my first data log I'll be sending over to my tuner Rick with Rally Inspired and he'll be taking a look to see make sure everything's good before he you know possibly up the boost level and stuff like that so again if you guys stay to the end you leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one